demo. So far, the music is a vibe. Oh. My headphones must have turned off. No, they're on. I don't have any sound. I just thought there was no sound at the opening. <laughs> Every time, you just don't say anything. I Do you have sound now? Yeah. <laughs> My dearest Sylvia. Greetings from Rafta! It's here on this charming island that I'll build my potion shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream. I hope that one day you'll be able to see it. I'm trying to figure out what this is. This is like the Strait of Gibraltar? Maybe? Got a tail. Yeah. I'm among the very first to set foot on the island since Mab and the Witch Queen fell in battle. Oh man. No witches? I'm out. Her unsanctioned experiments made this a land like no other. Who knows what riches await me? Love to your mother. This <laughs> sounds like, like, yo, word to your mother. Love to your mother. <laughs> Tell your father he still owes me money. Your uncle, Oswald. Alright, you gotta, you gotta read the response. Dearest niece, thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have spoiled in transit unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. Anyway, keep at it. It warms my heart to think you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. After mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potion shop is finally a reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck, although what could go wrong? Sincerely, Uncle Oswald. Sylvia. Oh, I thought this was multiple people writing, but it's- It's all his responses. Yeah. If you're reading this, it means I'm dead, which isn't great! What?! <laughs> More to the point, it means I've died without an heir. I implore you, Sylvia, don't let this be the end of my shop. My dream! I want to wait to put on someone. Come to Rafta, accept your inheritance, and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it! Dearly departed, Oswald. Oh, right! You told me about them, and I listened to one of their songs, and they were super good, and I just never listened to more. Sylvia. Please accept our firm's condolences for the recent loss of your relation, Oswald. For the terms of Oswald's will, you are the lawful recipient of his property on the island of Rafta. This is a text from the digital world. Yeah. However, given the island's remote location, the usual history, such an inheritance must be claimed in person or else it will be deemed forfeit. We hope that this inheritance offers some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment, it's certain to be an impressive piece of property. <laughs> oh, that was a great transition. It was. And the art style change was really cool. Yeah. Enjoy the sneak peek of potion. Oh, okay. This is my inheritance? I would have been better off living in my parents' basement. Bad enough that the shop is in disrepair, but did I have to be saddled with Oswald's unpaid debts, too? I thought this was gonna be my lucky break. Instead, I'm stuck cleaning up his messes. Looks like she has one buck yeah. right now. <laughs> Let's not speak oh, ill you, of the you dead be the now. Owl. Yeah. Your uncle? I'm sure he'd do a lot of things differently, but he was a fine man and he only wanted the best for you. Easy for you to say. He probably gave you all the mice you could eat. Preposterous. I wasn't some lowly pet. I was... Well, I was his business partner, the brains of the whole operation. The operation that's currently insolvent? Is that the operation you mean? There were... unforeseen challenges. But now you're here, and between us, we have everything we need to turn this place around. I guess I do know my way around a cauldron. And I have the business acumen you need if you are going to make things, make your potions profitable. The sun's coming up, so we should get started. You know what they say, the early bird catches the operating profit. Aw, oh, fuck, he's a capitalist, run! Ah, that old phrase. <laughs> <laughs> this is Karl Marx as a bird. Uh, or no, the opposite of Karl the Marx. The opposite of Karl Henry, what, what, was the, what was the other guy? I don't remember. Uh, it come back to me. Why, hello there, potion seller. Are your potions strong? It's the NL joke. Ne oh, okay. Next fest. Okay. Yeah. 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 Start day. Alright, let's go. This does come out soon, too, so. Beautiful morning. Now the real work can begin. First things first, we need to craft some potions. Get brewing. Brew. A 
Okay, so this is the time. I compel you to buy Potionomics. Is it working? Ah, Kinda. clever marketing. Your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. We'll have to make do with those for now. We're in luck. These ingredients are just what we need to craft some mana potions. Oh, do tell. Haven't learned the basics yet. Every magical ingredient contains ma magamins? The arcane essence needed to create viable potions. Yeah, it's got like tangled vibes. It does, yeah. It does kind of have tangled vibes, like that kind of Disney-esque art. Yeah. The specific combination of magamins Magimins? I would say Magimins. Magimins that will determine what kind of potion you'll create. Make a mana potion, you need a roughly equal quantity of green and yellow Magimins. If we put these ingredients in the cauldron, we can check the ratios before we commit the brew. Okay. So, Mandrake Root gives me six green. Slime gives me six yellow. So we put one of each in, right? She said equal. I think so, yeah. And that makes a minor mana potion. Do you have to put all of them in? Yeah, it doesn't have to like equal out. Once you mix them all. The ratio of magimins looks perfect. This will make three minor ma mana potions of high quality. I'll set the cauldron to brew. Set the cauldron to brew. Looking good. Now we've just got to give the cauldron some time to do its thing. I know just what to do while we wait. Are your potions strong? Yeah. They'll be ready in the afternoon. In the meantime, I have some old ones in our inventory. Let's go ahead and arrange them on the shelves. Oh, do we get to do like interior decorating? I think so. That looked, that's what it looked like in the trailer. These old health potions won't set the world on fire, but if nothing else, selling them will be good practice for you. Put them on the shelf now. Once that's done, they'll be available for sale when we open the shop. Did I toss those bad boys up there? Good! Now when customers come in, they'll see what you have available for purchase. I should mention, the shelf on which you put a potion will have an effect on the potion's value. These shelves are underwhelming, but we can invest in some better ones later. Okay. Cauldron is bubbling, potions are shelved. What's next? Breakfast! Open the store, let's buy some potions. Okay. Open shop. So does this- what is this clock? I don't- Two, two time two, slots. Two- yeah, two time slots. Okay, so you can see they're- well, it's behind us on the stream, but they're chunked off in slots. So I think- the, there was a three next to the mana potions, yeah. so we have to wait three times until time afternoon. Until my first shift, I hope I'm ready for this. You are. You must be. Just keep the basics in mind, and you'll be fine. Haggling is the <laughs> art of negotiating with a customer in order to get I'm the not highest good at haggling. possible sum even, for your potion. Even in games, I'm not good at haggling. I can't definitely. Yo, Bob, haggling. you can teach us. You're haggle Bob. That's true. He is haggle Bob. <laughs> He must know about haggling, right? Interest is the key to raising the price of a potion. As you increase a, po a customer's interest, you will increase the perceived value of the potion. Keep a close watch on your customer's patience. If their patience reaches zero, they leave without making a purchase. Disaster! Of course, customers have strategies of their own, among other tactics, to try to inflict stress upon you. The more stressed you are, the more problems you have. <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it. Intimidation tactic of handling. Yeah. <laughs> just like, just give it to me. Buy up. <laughs> <laughs> Got all that? Just remember, raise their interest without burning through all their patience. Hey. You want to come up here? Here, Gizmo. Come sit with us. Ah, here comes one now. You've got this. Good to see you. I mean it. This looks pretty great if the price is right. I should oh, there, it's a card game too? Yeah. There's a lot of mechanics in okay, this so game. Okay, so set them up. Raises interest by four. If opener apply, set them up. 
Is it building? So if it is the opener, opener yeah. it will give you... Four interest. Yeah. The card has an ability which will activate if put in your first turn. Um, in increase interest applied by real win. Do we play this? So you do that and then you do real win. You choose a good one. Interesting. I can reel them in. Reel them in, baby! I- okay, I'm like all in on this, this right now. This is kind of interesting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see what you're getting at. Okay, so now it's their turn. Let's embrace ourselves. <laughs> we get shield? Where do we see their- oh, their patience is there. Okay. Yeah, so. and they can inflict stress on us, but I don't know where that is. I think it's the 0% yeah. by your head down there. I thought the potions would be super yeah. cheap. You know right where they hit me. So she's moderately interested, we only have 5 turns left. Yes. Close it out. Increases price of potions by 5 and ends the heck. Okay. And if this was like a full round, we could do more to try and increase the interest. Yeah. And I wonder if this goes up more if other customers come in with higher interest. That's with. true, yeah. I'm sort of feeling it, yeah. Okay. Okay, there you go. Our made our first, first sale. sale. Take care. All right, now it's going to let you try it for your own, yeah. I feel like. Hello? Oh, that's the font I wanted to romance. <laughs> you can't really see her face name is in, this, in the stream, but... Oh, you know what? Put this over here. It's such a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Saffron. I'm fascinated by how quickly the town is growing at this rate. It might encroach upon my forest home soon. You live in the forest? Sorry, I didn't realize that was me. I do. I'm a carpenter by trade and mostly self-sufficient. She's self-sufficient! Mostly. <laughs> she needs someone to help with the other parts, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but brewing potions is a special skill, and one that I lack. Would you care to sell me this? So okay. we set them up, because the first turn... Set them up, yeah. Kinda interesting. Okay. Raw She's got 11 patients. Yeah. You can only close it out. Well, I could end the turn, which will That's take one true. of her patients true. Yeah. I like the idea of you standing like this. <laughs> As the customer is watching you, you're like, oh shit! You know what it reminds me of? Think. Think. Oh, yeah, Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. Alright, let's end the turn. wants to elevate each other. Oh. <laughs> she has a way with words. So, Real it in. costs two patience. Uh-huh. But it raises interest. She's very interested now. Okay. Um. This will raise interest by nine. I think we should just do this, because yeah. that, that 8 got us up two hearts. Yeah, sure. So highly interesting, yeah. Nice. I like the arm coming back to snatch it. Yep. Alright, thanks for your business. Come on up. Uh, hello. I love... Okay. So he's got gloves and a hood, but no... Sweater part? <laughs> well, he's a walrus, right? I guess, yeah, I guess he is a walrus. He's showing off his walrusiness. Greetings, Tuskless One. I am Muktuk. Like you, I am an artisan newly arrived upon these shores. Freaking fruit fly trying to fly into my whiskey. I am eager to test your wares for potion crafting. Is a noble profession. A noble profession indeed. And yet, I cannot help but notice. You appear to be bringing your potions in a shabby bucket of some kind. Yep, my cauldron's seen better days, but the chewing gum seems to be holding it together so far. You must visit my stall in the marketplace to discuss an upgrade, but for now, commence. Or commerce, not commence. Yeah. Alright, so we set them up first set them up. every time. And then we gotta reel, then you them, reel in. them in. 
Alright, we're up to moderate interest. Hi, Luna. So, okay, if we end our turn... Mm -hmm. Our hand size increases by one each turn. So we'll get four cards next turn. And it costs two. Mm -hmm. we'll but if we play left. this, we'll only draw one. Yeah. So maybe this is a smarter move. Probably. I'm here to leave my sled on too. Alright. You know what? Let me put this up here because. Okay. Oh. There we go. But we're blocking us, though. First thing I popped in my head with the walrus coming in is the no, they'd be stealing my bucket meme from years ago. I forgot about that meme. Um, I don't know if I know that meme. That's a. That's like a. From the meme archives, I feel like. Right? So, play this. Takes one. Okay. Um. So we could close out. But I think we do this one more time and see what we get. Okay. And then you we close only have two pa patients left, so. Yeah. How much does the setup cost for the real men? I don't. Two. So we couldn't do that anyways. Yeah. How do I close it? Oh, oh we're doing Alright, so it's probably smart to just close out then. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know if I know that meme. I mean I would look it up on my phone, but it's over there charging. The perfect transaction. All other transactions are weak and inferior. Alright. Have a nice day. Alright, we sold all our potions. What do you think, Owl? Not too shabby, right? For a first effort, that went well, but I have notes. Of course you do. You find there are times when your usual tricks aren't working, and you don't like any of your options. When that happens, don't be afraid to take a breath, dig deep, and take a mental mulligan. Okay. Oh, that's a good card. Oh, okay. and Also, some of the best art I've ever seen on a card. Uh-huh. The owl <laughs> flipping yeah. a chessboard. So good. Not bad advice, actually. I look forward to seeing you put it to use. Why don't you take a breather? I'll holler when the cauldron is done brewing. All right, I'm I'm in on this so far. Right? I think I get the hang of all this. Please tell me the owl is down there somehow doing that. Grumpy witch. Hey, what's the big idea? You can't set up shop here. I'm scared of you. Why is this Draco Malfoy? I like him. Sure I can, I live here. Are you invoking squatter's rights because I've got dibs? I've been kicking back in this trash heap for weeks now. <laughs> you didn't clean that weird looking mildew in the corner, did you? I was saving that for later. I think there's been some mistake. My name's Sylvia, I've just inherited this place. Huh? Just when you're sure you know a condemned building when you see it. But maybe your arrival isn't all bad news. You're obviously some kind of potions witch. As it happens, I've got a semi-legitimate business selling all <laughs> sorts of magical ingredients. Is this Montgomery from... Yeah. <laughs> this is my D&D character. <laughs> you know, like the kind of stuff you'd use to make potions. You should kick some business my way. Oh, uh, for sure. I'm gonna do that. I think I'm definitely going to need ingredients before long. And now when it's time to buy, you'll think of me, Quinn. <laughs> Quinn. Quinn Fabre from Glee? Right. Call that boot I call that boot planting the seed. Feel free to use it in your own hustle. Plant the seed, right? Oh, I the love the art! Interest. Oh, at the beginning of the customer's turn. Yeah, the art of the cards is really good. Mm hmm. I love this character a lot, I don't know why. <laughs> I love them. I, I'm trying to think, does does interest go down at the beginning of the customer's turn? I don't know. Because, like, what's the point of raising it on their turn? Um, 
No, I think I will use that. Where can I find your shop? Uh, they're homeless. <laughs> it's hard to miss. Just go outside and look up. I mean, I'm excited to get to know you. Around these horny <laughs> Maybe we could hang out. Oh god. But I know it's like they're freezing so you can pick a choice, but there's something truly horrific about this facial expression. Uh. Not really big on hanging out. That just makes me want to hang out with you more! I don't know. I could maybe make see? an exception a for you. A little heart popped I up. I did see the little heart. <laughs> Either way, I guess I'll see you around. Unless that weird mildew gets you first. Is it like alive or something? <laughs> what is happening? It's coming. <laughs> Hoot hoot. Good Pokemon. Yeah? Good, good job, but your, your potions aren't quite ready. Okay. Why don't you travel yeah. and visit some of the new vendors we met? You might learn a thing or two and foster some relationships. Quinn runs an ingredient shop. Purchase ingredients to give as gifts, and remember everyone will like different things. Okay. I'm, like, this little art nook, I'm really feeling it. Like, I just like they're so bouncy. Yeah. Crap. Yo, Harmony! Yo, what's up? How's it Hi, going? Harmony. Welcome to... We have, might have found the perfect game for Ronnie during Next Fest. Yes. You make potions, and it's a dating sim. This is great. Oh yeah! Thank you. Panic it's at the it's disco. my new Panic at the Disco shirt that I bought at the concert last night, and foolishly, I didn't realize until I put it on later. But it has all the dates on the sleeve, because I looked at it and I was like, "Oh, there's no dates on the back," and then I was like, "Oh, it has the tour dates on the sleeve, which is kind of cool." Yeah. So, but yeah, it was a great concert. Um, I loved it. What? Cats? I can't go there yet. Oh. All right. Do we want to go to Quinn? Muktuk or Saffron? I mean, they said to go to Quinn. Not that I just want to go to Quinn. Because I've already this decided. This is Ronnie's romance option. I've in already this demo. decided when they came in and they were like, I don't know, I'm kind of a loner. I was like, okay. <laughs> Let's hang out. <laughs> oh. oh, you can customize the store later. Yo, I, we have a broom. We have a little broom. Oh. Alright, it's early afternoon. We can shop. We can gift. Give an ingredient as a gift to strengthen your relationship. I don't think we have anything. Give gifts of ingredients to fellow vendors in order to show your appreciation. Different people like different ingredients, so try to find out what they might prefer. You have no ingredients. Sorry. Do you have anything? I'm not gonna beg. <laughs> Alright, let's shop. We got 166 gold. Okay, so You we lick know, it, you buy it. We know that those first two ingredients, we can use those to make more mana potions. Yeah. Do we know what we need to make, like, a health potion? We don't. Ethically sourced by the peer of heart, Unicorn Horn. <laughs> I mean, we have 166 gold. We might as well buy... We're gonna buy three of each of these because we can make mana potions with them. Yeah. Alright, so that brings us to 127 gold. What's the 14 gold one that's like kind of. Fairy Flower Ball. So that's a Magimens. Okay. Ratfly Larva. Let's go so check out the other ones before we buy anything else. Okay. Look at you all fiscally responsible. Should we, uh, give her a gift of I stuff we just give, bought from her? I would not give an ingredient that we just bought from Also, them. stress increases your chance of drawing stress cards. It's kind of like the curse cards in Tainted Grail. Mm. Alright. So, Saffron or Muktuk? I would go go to Muktuk. How about that? I did a thing she said as we left. But yeah! Anything fun going on with you, Harmony? Ah, Sylvia! You brighten my day. He did say we could upgrade our cauldron here, which would be pretty cool. Oh, we can only... gift? 
presents, I do like them. Alright, he's a walrus. What the heck is this? Mandrake root? Or sack of slime? I don't really want to give you either, mainly because I need them to make potions at this point. Let's check out Saffron before we go. My heart gladdens to see you. Okay. You're a fawn. Maybe you're like a mandrake root. I'm giving you one. What a thoughtful present. Thank you. Oh, okay. And then we click rank up. Stay as long as you like. What does that do? There was a kitten not like the, the best problem to have. I'm making slow but steady. You know what? I'm trying to find a good place for our camera. Maybe I'll put this right here. I'm making slow but steady progress on a jigsaw puzzle. Would you care to pitch in? Saffron has laid out the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle on top of a tree stump. She already has the border of the puzzle completed. Based on the frame alone, Sylvia can't tell what image the puzzle will make. Is it just me, or does every piece look the same? Well, it's an image of foliage, so the entire puzzle is green. But green contains multitudes. Look closer, you're gonna see fern green, sage, juniper, moss. Success will require us to be mindful of the subtle vi variation. You left work early because it was slow, Finished all the text on your current pages and an ink filter drawing, so you're like ahead. Sounds like a good day. Sylvia thinks she spots a match. She takes up a piece. She'd describe it as booger green. It doesn't fit. Or maybe it does. Almost. She pushes harder. Maybe it's a slight manufacturing flaw? Oh, for the, the Inktober. I'm excited to see it. I It's been cool seeing you post the stuff on Twitter because I've been seeing so many people interact with it. And I know you said that people liked your list a lot. So it's been, it's been cool to watch. She slams the piece repeatedly with her gloved fist. Ha! Ah, got it. Yes. That's quite a technique you have. Maybe I should get you a hammer. I don't want to make too much noise, it's so quiet here. So calm. I must get lonely sometimes. I wouldn't say that. In fact, I very much enjoy the peace and the quiet. And I keep busy. For instance, I spent most of my morning putting on putting a bridge together. Wait, a whole bridge in the morning? Oh sure. Lately the Heroes Guild is sending all sorts of greenhorns out into the forest. A well-placed footbridge ensures they stay on the path, which is safer for them. And safer for the forest too. I don't mean it as a jab when I say that I'll, I enjoy the quiet. I like solitude, but I like your company too. Um. Hmm, I'm glad or the feeling's mutual. I mean, this is my favorite character we've met so far, but Ronnie is horny for Quinn. And she's not here to make decisions, so I'm gonna click the feeling's very mutual. <laughs> I couldn't buy anything from anyone. And I didn't think Muck Tuck would like anything because he's a walrus and all we have are plants. Well, Saffron was going to be my first choice until they said that Quinn was Grumpy Witch. And yeah. then I was like, yes. Um, so I gave her a mandrake because she's a uh, uh, fawn. Mm -hmm. And she liked it. And now we're going through this dating thing where we're doing a puzzle together. Okay. The feeling's very mutual. I'm not just here for the kindling, you know. Oh, what a pickup line. Wow. The tangled expressions are getting me. That's right. After all, what good is kindling without the spark? Bam. I don't know. I just imagine her being like... So <laughs> smooth. Like, high-level uh, uh, lemon grab voice. Okay. I'm curious about something. You asked me if it gets lonely out here. Let me turn your question around on you. Doesn't the hustle and bustle of town ever wear you down? I would agree that sometimes I need to get out of the city. A 
little bit, but I've got ways to unwind when it gets to be too much. You wanna help me with that? <laughs> I'm glad that coming out to my little corner of the woods seems to be one of them. It's worth keeping in mind as a merchant that your customers are navigating the same turbulent currents that you are. With a soothing voice and a calm demeanor, you can make your shop an island of tranquility in the raging sea of life. Help guide their thoughts through the storm and I'll bet you'll see results. Guided thought. Raise interest by 5 and decrease stress by 1. Okay. The art on the cards is so good! I really like the art on the cards, yeah. This has like everything. It has like a dating aspect, yeah. a, a freaking magical potion building aspect, and a you card can, You aspect. can design your shop It's later, got everything we love. It's got, yeah. I can be a perfect picture of placidness. Watch me. I believe it. I believe you can be anything you set your mind to. Now, have you seen the pine green piece with three Aldis in a socket? It's gotta be here somewhere. You didn't get anything from Muktuk? No, nah, because I went in there and the only thing I could do was give him a present or mm. leave. Alright. Alright, is our brew finished? It said head over to the cauldron, so I assume that meant click. Like brew. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll let you read for Sylvia. The mana potions are done cooking. I'll bottle them up. The ratio of magimins was perfectly balanced, so these should be high quality potions. Let's see. I was hoping there would be like a bottling mini game so you could like drop them on right. extra. Right. Super brew. These or those are very good potions, considering our limitations. A cauldron that holds more ingredients would allow you to make potions of a higher tier. That's tomorrow's problem. Today we should sell what we have in the best price we can get. Do we make more? Oh. It's probably the end of the demo. I'm assuming. Would you call a magical owl Houdini? All right. Get those potions on the shelves, baby. The first ones we sold were health potions, right? Yeah. Those are only worth like 18, so these were. Yeah, a lot these more. are worth like a, way more. Or well, double, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do we have to like pay rent or something at some point? I assume so. We're opening the shop at nighttime, I think. This is in the afternoon, yeah. Oh, it's in the afternoon. Oh, hello, you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just actually date everybody on this Yeah, game? is there a polyamory? Oh, wow. Is this an actual potion shop? I could have sworn it was all boarded up just the other day, and now... I could have... Uh, and now potions! My name's Sylvia, resident potions witch. And by resident, I mean I literally live here. <laughs> I'm Mint, a hero in training. I'm going off on an adventure. I'm going to need your strongest potion. Alright. Time to haggle. The heck does that mean? Uncertain. Oh. Okay. Reduces interest. Um. So we didn't get our normal play card. Yeah. So I think maybe play this because it only costs one. Sure. And it brings our stress down. Okay. And then we mulligan. Sure. So you'll get two new I think three. cards or one new? Oh, okay. A mulligan is your hand. It's for each card discarded. Oh, okay, so we'll get two. No, you get one, because there's only one card left in there. Oh, after you play just one, you're yeah. right. Okay. And nine patience. Um, I mean, I guess play this and end the turn. Mm. Okay, and she's only minus one. The cool thing is that if you end your turn, there's gotta be a way to get more turns because you can draw more cards. Every, mm. You draw one extra card every round. There you go, now you got the set em up. Okay, played first from your hand. I was like, is it first turn or first? Let's see. She's gonna play. So it's probably best to end it sooner rather than later. Yeah. But we could also Well, you could do that, because I think it, that matches the two, so I think you wouldn't 
she only has six. And then we, when we end turn, it's gonna take two, so we're gonna only have three left. Which would give us... Yeah, so you could play maybe one more one card more and then card. close it out, yeah. but... Yeah, let's, let's try it. Then, end turn. Haggling with a friend sure is stressful. But yeah, I blocked our stress. She called us her friend! Alright, so you could do... Press the attack. Oh my god, we got that Look card. Look at the art, it's I so damn love good. I Quinn so much. So yeah, I think we raise the interest by okay. four, then it gets up to the heart. Or, well this is by four. Um... I was like, can I see what the ability does? The set him up. Oh, by 20%, but we can't do real them in. Yeah, so, so we if we do reel. this, it'll raise interest by more than this would, and we get to draw a card. Because we can do both of these and then close out. Yeah. And then do this one and then close out. Look at how much money we made! Yeah. You're a lifesaver, Sylvia. Hell yeah. Okay. Next in line. Baptiste! Mm. Greetings and salutations! It is I, Baptiste! No interest in this As character. guild master <laughs> for the local chapter of the Eros Guild, it is my duty and my privilege to welcome you to Rafta. Aw oh, man. I'm jealous of his hair. <laughs> Thanks for saving me a trip. I figured I'd drop in on the guild soon. Where I come from, heroes really like their potions. It's doubly true here on the edge of civilization. My hero, my heroes rely on the potions to survive the monster and festive wilderness outside our town's borders. What are you asking for, this lovely little dollop? Seems like a playboy. That's not usually my preference in dating sims. I mean, we I got to a avoid them. really bad hand. So I guess we're mulliganing. He's mulligan, yeah. Well, he is gonna complain, so we could brace. True. That's only gonna give us one card. Mm -hmm. And if we just end our turn, we're gonna draw four cards. Yeah. So we might as well do that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get a little stressed, but... Alright, we got to set them up. And reel them in. Yeah. So. We got two reel them in. Yeah. Really? What is this? What's he thinking? Stubborn. Okay. Okay. But we can do this. Mm -hmm. He's got seven left. If we play this again, we're gonna get the same amount. Yeah. Beautiful. And then you could honestly. Play that. Yeah. And then we'll see what we get. Oh. And then you could close it out. So we're getting 47 gold plus an additional 30% on top of that right yeah. now. Because that's what happened at the end of the last one. So it's like another 50 something. Yeah. Now. And then we wouldn't even be able to play anything next round. Yeah. Well, unless we got... A one. The uh, press the attack. Yeah. I think we should go for it. But you have to be careful because he's going to be stubborn, so anything you play is also going to be reduced. But you can still do it just to see what it looks like. Yeah. This is a... I've done my research. So yeah, we only have two. So, I mean, we can get... here because it's not going to actually increase the price of the sale at all Until unless you get over. it to that yeah, yeah. Uh, that percentage. So and now we have to close the deal. Yeah, now you have to close the deal. Alright. Who's next? Luna! <laughs> what is a moth person? <laughs> what the hell? I mean, you can't really see her because we're uh, there, but... Oh my god, I keep moving us! And this game just hates joy. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, sure. 
Hi Sylvia, welcome to our up and coming little town. I'm Luna, founder and sole proprietor of Rafta's newest best and boldest marketing agency. Oh, she's an influencer. I don't know much about marketing, I thought I'd just leave myself a bunch of fake reviews. We can do better than that. Let me know if you need help getting your message out there. I can show you how to cut through the noises of the crowd and market or crowd marketplace. I'm not just here to give you my pitch, the potion caught my eye. Okay. Oh, Luna only has seven patients because she's a busy professional. Yeah. So. And she's sure gonna you... lose extra patients. She's gonna lose three. Yeah, make sure you keep that in mind. I mean. I think we just end the turn here. Yeah. And hope for a good hand next time. Yeah. Okay, we gotta set them up. We got real them in. So we set so them up, dude. reel them in, close out. Yeah. And then you can at least get, hopefully... Get a heart. Yeah. Okay, there you go. You got it. Yeah. And then close out, because yep. we can. Okay, so she's a harder one to... Because mm, um, she's a busy professional woman, yeah. obviously. Moth lady. Mm. Glamorous life of a potions witch. It's not quite as I pictured it. Well, what do we have here? Hi, I'm Sylvia. What can I do for you? Oh, did you mistake me for a customer? That's adorable. I'm not a customer. My name is Roxanne, and I'm your competition. What? Don't look so alarmed. I'm not here to sabotage you. And if I were, well, it appears someone else beat me to it. Or is your shop supposed to look like this? I know I know the place could use some work, but don't count me out just yet. I'm new to all this, but I'm already getting the hang of it. You think so, do you? Well, think again. Rafta is a strange island teeming with magic and mystery. There's a hearty demand for potions here. But the market is volatile, and demand can change as quickly as the weather. Just when you think you've got your footing, this place will throw a curve your way. Now, personally, I know a thing or two about curves, but you? Don't worry about me, Roxanne. I can handle a bit of toil and trouble. So why don't you leave me to my business? And go mind your own. If you insist, but I warn you, as of today, putting you out of business is my business. And business is looking very good. You believe her? The nerve. Are you really so surprised? It's nice that you made some friendly vendors met some friendly vendors earlier, but don't let that fool you. Business is all about competition. You won't make it very far if you're afraid of ruffling feathers. Who said I was afraid? I'm not backing down, not for Roxanne, and not for any other opponents waiting in the wings. I don't expect to be the only potion shop in town, but mark my words, Owl. I'm going to be the best one. That's my Nindo, my ninja way! When you put it like that, my girl, I find it easy to believe you. In that case, what are we waiting for? Like, the game to release! <laughs> yeah, right. Come on, Owl, let's get to work. Yeah. <laughs> I really like I this like game. This a lot. I'm gonna, I definitely want to play this game. Let this, me add this, this really to good. our wish list. Add it to the wish list. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. Oh, you know what? I see. Yeah, I. This is really fun. All right. So that was Potionomics. I liked it. Yeah, I really like it. Um. Just the right amount of like chattiness, but also like bouncing around doing little like game. The gameplay part is fun, yeah, and the characters are really like well designed. I think mm -hmm. so. Um, 